Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastin Prada Sale. I hope you all are aware about this particular update. Like today, the National Testing Agency has released the final answer key with respect to joint CSI or EGC in June 2022. And in this video, we are going to detail explain about all those questions. So what are the questions in India changed option? And for what are the questions in India has accepted our challenge? And for what are the questions in India is going to give bonus mark? So please watch the video continuously only then it will be beneficial. So first question is question number 33 with regard to biomes in India. So for this question, the provision answer key, they just mentioned only option ID 132 alone is the right option. But now they had changed the option that is both the option ID 129 as well as 132 are correct option. So I thought that this question will be considered a drop, but they had changed the option. They had added another option. So those students who are selected either 129 and 132, you will be getting a mark. Next is question number 56. So for this particular questions, we really think that no option is correct. So definitely this question is will considered as a drop. But they just mentioned there is no change in this particular question. So only those students who are selected option ID 221 alone will be getting a mark. Okay. Next is with regarding to question number 63. So, with regarding to this particular execution repair system, so previously they just mentioned uh, this particular option that is a 252, that is B, C, D is a correct option, but many students demanded like B option is absolutely a wrong option and they had changed the option in the finalized answer key. Like previously, in the provision answer key they just mentioned 252, but in the final answer key they just mentioned 251 alone is the right option. So, only those students who attempted who had selected this option ID 251 alone will be getting a mark, that is option ID C and option ID. Next is with regarding to question number 76, the most expected question. So all are telling with regarding to question number 76, this question will be considered as a drop and bonus mark will be given to all. But NTA didn't even change the option. They just mentioned for this particular question, uh, option I 302 is the correct option. They didn't even change. So we were referring Gilbert book, but they didn't even uh, uh, take the uh, request we made. They just, I, I hope, uh, I think that NT has analyzed this particular article, so which has been published on 2019. So here they just detailly mentioned zygote is not a totipotent stem cell. So for this particular question, they didn't even change the option and they are saying that 302 is the right option, which means B and C is the right option. So those students who have selected the option ID 302 will be getting a mark. Next is with regarding to question number 99, which is regarding to food crops in the region of domestication. So NT, as I mentioned you in the previous video, this question is, will be considered as a prop and ultimately NT is also, uh, NT has also suggested this particular option, question number 99 as a dropped question, which means if you attempt the question means you will be getting a mark respective to whether you had attempted or whatever the option. Next is with regarding to question number 58. So, with regarding to 58 question, with regarding to chromatin remodeling question, friends. So, for this particular thing, uh, they just mentioned uh, option number 231 is correct, which means B, C and E option are correct. So, many students are saying that after referring the Lodish book, option E is incorrect because when histone is phosphorylated as serine 1, it is associated with the transcription activation. But they just mentioned there is no change in this particular uh, question, friends. So, for question number 58, the option ID that is 231 alone is the right answer only if you are attempted 231 you will be getting a mark i think they had referred a, a research article because in the research article many students are telling that in the research in that research article they just mentioned when histone has been phosphorylated as serine 1 it is three to transcription repression so they had taken the reference article alone into account they didn't uh, take into account of lodish book okay so please uh, keep yourself updated about the question paper also next is regarding to question number 88 so for this question number 88 also there is no change as I mentioned you earlier for this question and all previously they just mentioned option C is correct like that many students are telling but they didn't change so only if you are attempted option number 349 you will be getting a mark next is regarding to question number 136. So for this question previously in the provision answer key they just mentioned only option number so option number uh, 541 alone is right option but in this final answer key they added on another option that is 543 as I mentioned you in the earlier video those students who attempted either 541 and those students who attempted either 543 you will be getting a mark for this question. So both the options are correct. Next is with regarding to question number 72. 
so for this sort of question number 72 many students are telling this particular question that is option number a alone is right and here in this particular question previously in the provision answer key they just mentioned option id 288 is wrong which means they are asking us to find an incorrect statement and after referring many book like in the lodish book many students refer this option is absolutely correct so for this question they have changed the option previously in the provision answer key they just mentioned option id 288 is correct but in the final answer key they just mentioned option id 285 is absolutely correct since they are asking which of the following statement is incorrect so this particular statement is an incorrect statement so those students who are selected 285 op option you will be getting a four marks so we won in this particular question okay next is with regarding to question number 38 so for this question number 38, they had uh, previously they just mentioned only option number 149 alone is correct. But for in the final answer key, they just mentioned 149, 150, 151, all the three options is correct. So among these three options, if you are attempted any one option, you will be getting a mark. Next is with regarding to question number 141. See, if you are selected English means you won't be getting no mark. There is no change for you. This is uh, so in the, in the final answer key, they just clearly mentioned with regarding to question number 41 for English. English option ID 161 is a correct. So only if you select option ID 161, you will be getting a mark. Whereas for Hindi opted students, so some students will be selecting Hindi to write the examination. So for them alone, they had considered this particular question as a drop. So only if you are attempted, uh, if you are opted for Hindi, you will be getting a mark for this question, irrespective whether you had attempted either option ID 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, next is with regarding to shift number 2. So, with regarding to shift number 2, first question is 226. So, with regarding to this question, this question has been considered to drop as we were discussing previously since option A and option D are absolutely same. Next question is question number 269. So, for this question, previously they just mentioned only option ID 1075 is alone correct, but now they had added another option ID that is both the option ID 1075 and 1076 are absolutely correct. So, if you selected either of two options, you will be getting a four marks for this question. Next is with regarding to question ID 231, friends. So, for this question, uh, I as I mentioned you previous for this question, there is no change. Only if you are selected option ID uh, 921 alone, you will be getting a mark there is no change okay next is with regarding to question number 241 so with regarding to question number 241 previously in the provision answer key they just mentioned option id 962 is correct since many students we were referred gilbert wood on option a is also correct so as i mentioned you previously they had changed the option in the final answer key they just mentioned option id 963 is correct like if you are selected option a option b option c means then you will be getting a mark so only for those students who are selected option id 963 you will be getting a four mark for this question okay next question is question number 230 friends so for this particular question there is no change although when i refer they just mentioned option c is also correct but for this question they didn't change only if you are selected option id 920 alone you will be getting a mark next is with regarding to 240 question so for this particular question they had changed the option. So previously they just mentioned option ID 958 is correct. That is only option number A and option number C are correct. But in the final answer key, they just mentioned option ID 959 alone is correct. So only if you are selected option ID 959, which means option A is correct and option uh, C is correct and option D is correct. So they had added this particular statement is also correct. So only if you are selected option A, option C, option D, or else if you are selected option ID 959 means then you will be getting a mark for this particular question friends okay so here i had given you a compilation so it will be beneficial because for life since student they didn't provide a raw mark so this particular thing will be selected so for this particular question they had changed so previously in the provision answer key they just mentioned 132 option is correct but they added an another option so marks will be given for those who attempted option id 129 and 132 so with regarding to 56 there is no change and with regarding to 76 question id there is no change and with regarding to 58 question id there is no change at all okay and as i mentioned you previously these are my predictions so for both the question that is 99 they had considered as a drop drop means marks will be given all who had attempted that particular question and with regarding to question number 136 they had added another option previously the provision and key they just mentioned option id so 541 as our own, our own correct option but they added another option so marks will be given for those who are attempted either 541 or 540 same for shift 2 also can able to check so 226 is considered as a drop as i mentioned you earlier for 231 there is no change and for 230 there is no change and for 241 they had 
tenth option from 962 to 963 so marks will be uh, given only for those who have selected 963 option and for 269 also they had added another option that is uh, previously they just mentioned only this option is correct but they are also added this option so if a student selected either this or either this you will be getting a mark next for 240 option previously they just mentioned 958 is a correct option but they just uh, today uh, the final answer they just mentioned 959 is also a correct option so <coughs> As you all know, uh, in our uh, YouTube channel, I, I could be able to extract. Uh, this is the stu student has uh, challenged this many question in shift two. Uh, we got option change for question number thirty three, question number thirty eight, question number sixty three and seventy two and one thirty six. Whereas for shift two, we got option change for two forty one, two sixty nine and two forty. And for shift one, question number ninety nine is uh, considered as a drop. That is only question is considered as a drop. And for shift two, only question number two twenty six alone is considered as a drop. So thank you, friends. Thanks for watching this video.